Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to show you how I'm using Sales Navigator and a conversational connection and messaging strategy on LinkedIn to get new partners and new clients for my service offering at Growth Response. So in last week's video, I shared how I optimized my profile and there was five different key areas that I optimized to make sure that it was attractive for people that I'm reaching out to. So if you haven't watched that, please go back and watch that first because it's a huge part of making this part of the strategy work around the messaging and the connection requests and reaching out to people. So make sure that your LinkedIn profile is nice and tasty for the people that you're reaching out to and, and interesting to them. Also, I've seen this happen a few times now since last week. I've seen three profiles do this so far. Please do not be one of those people that just rips off my entire profile word for word because first of all, you're not selling the same thing that I'm selling to the same exact people. And even if you were gonna try to copy me with that, you probably wouldn't know how to fulfill the service anyway. So please don't be one of those people that just rips off my whole profile and just copies and pastes it onto your own. Be creative, use it for your own business, use this as a framework and an idea of what to optimize on your profile, but don't do the exact same thing. It's just not gonna work. Now, before we begin with this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. Doing so lets me know that you're enjoying and getting value from the content. It also helps to share it to other people who can benefit from it as well. So go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified for all of my future videos and you don't miss any of them. With that said, let's hop into my computer. I'm gonna show you how I'm using Sales Navigator and a conversational messaging and connection strategy to get new clients and new partners for my service offering at Growth Response. So let's hop in right now. Okay, so now I'm on the homepage of my Sales Navigator account. And just so you know, Sales Navigator is an upgraded account. It costs $79.99 per month if you're paying monthly, and I think $64.99 if you're paying on a yearly basis. Now for me, it's totally worth it. it saves me a lot of time and allows me to get more targeted prospects. But if you don't want to use Sales Navigator, you can always do this in some capacity, what I'm showing here on a free account as well. But for this video, I'm going to go over Sales Navigator and how I'm using this for my messaging and marketing and prospecting strategy on LinkedIn. So first, what you're gonna do is make sure that you have a very clear niche that you're targeting, right? So we covered this in the last video, you're optimizing your profile for your niche. And when we build our list of prospects to reach out to, we're also gonna use that as well. So I already have a saved search here that I'm working on. And I'm reaching out to people who sell information products and high ticket coaching and masterminds. So I'm gonna show you what I've done here the filters that I'm using on Sales Navigator to build this list of prospects to reach out to. So you can see here, there's a little over a thousand people here, uh, or a thousand prospects that I'm gonna reach out to. And you can see I'm already starting to reach out and connect with these people. And all I'm gonna do here is show you the different filters that I use to build this list of targeted prospects to reach out to. So again, you need to know your niche uh, because that's gonna help to put the, fil the right filters into this to build a list of the right people. So what I've done here is first off, I like to lead with the geography, where are they located? So I'm reaching out to people in the United States and I like to start it off with second degree connections because second degree means that there's a mutual connection, a friend of a friend, and that helps to increase the connection rate of people accepting your connection rate. So second degree connections is what I use. If you don't have a big connection base right now or a database of connections, then you can start with third degree, but I like to start with second degree uh, because I already have around 3,900 or so connections. Here is where you put the niche in, right? So I'm targeting professional training and coaching, and you can look through all the different categories and industries that they have here um, and pick the one that's right for you. So real simple, I also like to click this with uh, the profile language, making sure it's English so I, I don't get any foreign speakers. And that is it for the top section here. Sometimes I'll use the keywords. I'll, I'll probably make a separate video on this, but I didn't have to do it for this because there is an entire industry tag for people who do coaching and training. Now, what I also like to do here is I don't wanna target any new startups. I don't wanna target people who, who just got into business yesterday. So what I do here is in this section, and this is only a sales navigator feature, it's not on the free platform. I like to target people who have been at their company for three years or more. That means that they've been working on the company and they've been growing it and they didn't just start yesterday. So I go three to five years, six to 10 years and more than 10 years in this years at current company section. What I also do 
is in the title section, you wanna put the titles that you're reaching out to. Now, I wanna be in contact with the founders or the CEO of the company, so that's what I put in here, right? You might be reaching out to the VP of marketing or the CMO or another position. All you're gonna do is type it in here and you're gonna click the title and these are the people that are gonna sh show up in the search results. So once I click search, that's what pulls up this and I, you can save the search so you don't lose it. That's what I did here. Uh, so I save the searches that I'm currently working on and connecting with people on. So that is step one. That is how I use Sales Navigator to build a list of people to reach out to. And you need this list because these are the people that you are going to be contacting in step two, three, and four that I'm about to cover now. Okay, so that's step one. Build your targeted list either in Sales Navigator if you wanna upgrade and pay the extra to get uh, some extra targeted features or filters here. If not, you can use the free platform on LinkedIn to also build this list in some capacity, although it won't have the same amount of filters on it here. Now, step two is to craft a conversational messaging sequence. So I use three messages on what I'm currently doing here. I'm just gonna show you some examples of what these messaging sequences look like. So uh, we have Laura here, and I'm just gonna scroll up and show you the message that she's getting from me. So I sent, I'm testing right now the connection message. I'm, I'm doing a, a message where I'm just saying, hey, looking forward to connecting. I saw we shared some mutual connections. And I'm also testing just not having a connection message at all, right? So message number one is the connection message. If I am using a, me a message, I'm just saying, hey, looking forward to connecting. I saw we shared some mutual connections. And that's it, I keep it pretty basic and I don't have a sales pitch in there. And I'm also split testing that with having no message at all. So that's message number one. Now message number two is this one here. So I just say, thanks for connecting, Laura. Hope to bring some value to your feed with my content here on LinkedIn. Also, and then I have a very quick breakdown of what I do, right? Also, I 100% fund and manage sales campaigns for, and this is basically for my headline, right? For info product, online education, e-learning companies. No upfront investment, 100% performance based where I only get paid once you get paid. If you're interested in more customers and clients for Kaleidoscope Media Services, happy to chat about how we can help, Sean. Okay, so this is, if they accept my connection request, this is the message that they get. And you can see here, um, this doesn't always work, but you can see here, Laura is interested in having a chat and we've got it set up for Monday, right? So this is the message that goes out, right, message number two goes out right after they accept the connection requests. Now, this is working actually pretty well, better than I thought it would, just having a soft invitation of what I do and just saying, hey, if you wanna chat about how we can help, I'm happy to have a chat with you, okay? No hard pitch here, I'm just saying, here's what I do, I'm happy to connect with you, thanks for connecting, hope to bring some value, and if you're interested in chatting more about this, about how we might be able to help you, I'm happy to chat with you, okay? And we're, we're getting a pretty decent response rate of people replying to that message. Um, let's take a look at Curtis here. So Curtis is also responding to the thank you message. I wanna find one where I haven't responded yet. I wanna mark this as unread so I don't forget about it. But I wanna find one where they responded to one of my, my third message. So actually, I'll just show it to you here. So, so let's take a look at Joe here. This is an example of all three messages. So you can see on the top, it says, this is the connection message. Looking forward to connecting Joe. Saw we shared some mutual connections. He didn't respond to that. The second message goes out where I'm thanking him for connecting and I tell him a little bit about what we do. Uh, message two, and then I say happy to chat about how we can help if you're interested in more customers and clients for Imagine Worldwide. Now, they don't respond to message number two. I have message number three here, which is just a question about something that they want. So I help people get customers and clients. So all I'm asking here is, hey Joe, are you still accepting new customers and clients at, and I have his company name here, right? Now this does two things. Number one, it gets their attention, right? Because I'm talking about something that they want. The natural response to this is, yes, I am accepting new customers and clients. Um, so this is related to something that they want. I'm not hard pitching him or saying, let's hop on a call. I'm just asking a question. Are you still accepting new customers and clients at Imagine Worldwide? Now I call this message the, I have a, a program called the email side hustle program. I call this the stealth outreach method because you can't really tell if I'm trying to become a client or if I'm asking because I wanna help them get more clients, right? So I call it the stealth outreach method. Now, the second thing that this does after it gets attention is 
it gets them to be curious about, about me and, and click onto my profile, right? So the natural behavior, and Joe hasn't read this message yet, but what someone's gonna do, if they're interested in this, in this here, this second message about what I do, and they get this, and they want more customers and clients, the first thing they're gonna do is be like, what does this guy actually do? Maybe I can get some information on his profile. They're gonna click over, they're gonna see my headline, they're gonna see maybe the, the banner photo here, maybe go to my website, they're gonna read my profile summary and see like, what does this guy actually do? And that's gonna to help to increase the responsiveness of the campaign, right? Of people responding back to that message. Um, so I can't find any right now because I've replied to most of the people that have responded back, but often I'll get a response to this saying, hey, uh, I've checked out your profile and I'd like to know more about how you can help us with what you do. Um, here's my calendar link or when can, we, when, we, when can we chat, right? So this message is very good for opening conversations and getting people's attention because we're talking about something that they want and we're getting them to respond and check out my profile. So this is the three messaging sequence, the conversational messaging sequence that I'm using here in this campaign. Now, step three is pretty simple. You're just gonna connect with 20 people per day. And you can either do that directly on LinkedIn or you can use Sales Navigator. Now, 20 people per day, how did I get that number? Well, LinkedIn has a new restriction in place where you can only connect with 100 people per week. So if you're doing 20 people every weekday, Monday through Friday, that's 100 people per week and 400 people per month. So two ways you can do that, you can just connect with people directly on LinkedIn if that's the platform that you're using. Or if you're using Sales Navigator, once you've built your list, you can click these three dots. You can click connect. It's gonna bring up a box where you can copy and paste your connection message if you have one. And all you do is click connect, right? And you do this 20 times per day. Now, there are some automation tools that you can use. You can find them with a quick Google search. It's against LinkedIn terms of service, so I can't share it in this video. But there are some automation tools out there that you can use to help with automating the connection process and even the messaging process. Uh, but you have to be careful because again, it's against LinkedIn's terms of service and they don't like you using automation tools. But that's step number three, is either manually or if you're gonna go the automation route, connect with 20 people per day. And if you have a connection message, you can add that in there as well. And you can either do that on Sales Navigator directly here by clicking these three dots, or you can just go on the LinkedIn platform and do it there. Now, step number four is simple. Once somebody connects with you, right? And you can see here my network, it has a new one next to it. You can see somebody accepted my invitation to connect. All you're gonna do here is once per day, you're going to, and you can just take out a simple Google sheet if you're doing this manually, and you can just go to their profile, you can copy their profile and their name, paste it into the Google sheet, and just say, you know, connected with this person, and then you're just gonna send them the messaging sequence that you have, right? So I just showed you the three messaging sequence that I have. Once someone accepts your connection request, then you can send message number two here, right, after they connect, and then a few days later, if they haven't responded, if you have a third message, you can send that one as well, right? So it's real simple. All you're doing is once per day, go to my network. It's gonna tell you all the new people that accepted your, your connection requests. You're gonna keep track of those people into Google Sheet, and you're gonna send your messaging sequence to whoever accepts your connection requests. Now, for some number breakdown, I am currently seeing about 30% of people accept my connection request. So if I reach out to, let's say, 1,000 people to make it easy, 300 people are gonna accept that connection request. And then I have 300 people, let's just say in a month, I can reach out to those 300 people with my messaging campaign. Now, out of those 300 people who accept my connection request, I'm seeing another 25% of those, so 75 out of 300 in that example, are interested in either learning more or having a conversation on the phone about how I can help. Now, that doesn't mean I'm having 75 clients, right? Not everyone's qualified, not everyone's ready to move forward right at that given time, they just wanna learn more. But I'm seeing around 25% of people out of those who connected are interested in learning more, or having a conversation on the phone with me. Now, for me personally, I'm only looking for two to three more partners for, for my service offering at Growth Response. I'm not looking for like 10 new clients or 20 new clients. I only need two to three more people. So I probably, with these numbers that I'm having right now, I probably don't need to prospect for too long, right? It's gonna be, I would say another month or so, month and a half for me to find two to three more partners using LinkedIn, right? I just started using LinkedIn about uh, 12 days ago and starting to prospect again. So I think around a month, I can find two to three more partners uh, for my service offering at Growth Response. 
So that was my LinkedIn marketing, messaging, and outreach strategy and sales navigator strategy for getting two to three more partners for my service offering at Growth Response. It's what I'm doing right now. It's what I've been doing for the last 12 days or so. And I'm gonna keep doing it until I reach those two to three partners for Growth Response. Now LinkedIn, still incredibly powerful if you use it right and you're not an annoying spammer like 90 5% of the people out there using the platform. So if you follow these videos, you follow the profile video that I last posted and this video around using Sales Navigator and a conversational messaging strategy to reach out and connect with people, I think you're gonna be ahead of most people who are using LinkedIn. Now, if you got value out of this and you found this useful, make sure you give it a like and let me know in the comments who are you targeting on LinkedIn? What types of clients are you trying to get link on LinkedIn? Let me know in the comments, would love to hear from you. One more thing, if you wanna learn more about the service offering that I'm running at Growth Response and how I'm using email, live chat, and direct mail for that, go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free Facebook group and my email list where I'm gonna be talking more about that. And if you go to emailrainmaker.com, that'll take you straight there where you can join for free. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.